You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants, or NACA. Thank you so much for watching these segments on CNA TV. Seeing the numbers of views rising on the videos, recognizing CNAs for their important contributions to healthcare is very affirming. I love to see individuals so deserving get the recognition and kudos they deserve. Please share these videos so that everyone can experience these beautiful and caring CNAs. Today's segment features a CNA who has dedicated her life to helping others. Frail, vulnerable, and elderly people have been so fortunate to have this CNA care for them. If I or a member of my family ever needs care, this is the CNA I want in my corner. CNA, advocate, board chair, mother and grandmother are just a few of the hats that Sherry Perry wears. Sherry is a CNA in Gordonsville, Tennessee. I'm fortunate enough to have known her for many years now. She sets an example I strive to live up to. Sherry knew from her teenage years what she was put on this earth to do. During her late teens, she took care of her terminally ill mother at home, and out of that experience was born a lifetime of service to others. Sherry became a CNA. She's been a CNA for more than 33 years, with over 20 years at her current employer, a skilled nursing facility. Because Sherry was raising a family, she's always worked more than one job. Right now, to make ends meet, Sherry works several jobs, as many CNAs in this country are forced to do. In the evening, when many of us are sitting down to dinner, think about Sherry. Sherry's on her second job seeing home health patients. Sherry's work ethic is second to none. Although she isn't the youngest CNA on the team, she can work circles around the others and do so with a smile and a hug. Sherry has been involved with the National Association of Healthcare Assistants, or NACA, for many years now. Her mentor, Dixie Taylor Huff, who until her death owned the nursing home where Sherry has worked, first introduced Sherry to NACA by supporting membership and visits from the NACA team for special events. Sherry has been instrumental in NACA's growth. She currently serves as the chairwoman of the board of NACA and takes this leadership role very seriously. She fiercely advocates for CNAs and residents for better wages, for more CNAs, for better care, and a better work culture in general. Sherry is strong and determined. In December, after several mandatory quarantines off work after COVID exposures, Sherry tested positive for COVID. This started a month long severe illness, preventing her from working after already using up her sick time. Over the course of her illness, she had to make several trips to the hospital, suffering dehydration, pancreatitis, pneumonia, and blood clots. Although she's back at work, her health is still compromised. She's on medications and has to follow up with doctors on the blood clots and the long-term negative health effects of COVID. I know her residents and coworkers must be delighted that Sherry Perry is back at it. We here at NACA are so grateful for her efforts, leadership, and work on behalf of CNAs and residents. Sherry Perry, you keep us motivated and inspired. Thank you for that. Everyone, please join me in recognizing the strong, the determined, and the compassionate Sherry Perry CNA hero. Thank you.